From colossal concrete barriers to towering arches reaching into the sky, these dams are the largest in the world. They harness the power of nature and have a transformative impact on the surrounding landscape. So here are the top 15 most massive dams in the world. Number 15. Guri Dam Venezuela is known for its beautiful landscape and its vibrant culture. The country is home to incredible natural wonders such as Angel Falls, the world's tallest waterfall and the beautiful Orinoco River, but it's also home to one of the largest dams in the world, the Guri Dam. Officially known as the Simon Bolivar Hydroelectric Power Station, the Guri Dam is built on the Coronai River in Venezuela. It's ranked as the fourth largest dam in the world by capacity, and was built between 1963 and 1986 to address Venezuela's growing markets and increasing demand for electricity. The time had come for the country to utilize its abundant water sources and harness the power of the river to generate hydroelectric power. With a total capacity of approximately 10,235 megawatts, the Guri Dam plays a pivotal role in supplying Venezuela with electrical energy. In fact, it generates around 70% of the country's total power output, making it a crucial contributor to its economic development and industrial growth. The dam features a massive powerhouse containing 20 turbine generator units, which work together to produce vast amounts of electricity for most of the country. During its construction, an estimated 14 million cubic meters of concrete were used to create the dam's colossal structure. The reservoir created by the dam covers an area of approximately 4,200 square kilometers. And despite being a boring old dam, it still offers breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape and supports various water-based activities, such as fishing, boating, and is a relatively popular tourist attraction. Number 14. Tukurui Dam if you want to see the mystical animals of the Amazon, then head over to Brazil. Go bird watching in the jungle, run from jaguars, and make it home in time for carnival. But amidst all the colorful scenery is one of the largest dams in the world. The Tucurui Dam, located on the Tocantins River in Para, Brazil, ranks as the fourth largest dam in the world by capacity. Construction of the dam began in 1975 and it was completed by 1984. The primary objective behind its construction, of course, was to harness the hydroelectric potential of the Tocantins River and provide electricity for the rapidly growing industry and residential areas in Brazil. It has an impressive power capacity of 8,300 megawatts, making it a significant power generator for the country. The dam's concrete structure required approximately 20 million cubic meters of concrete during its construction, and it demonstrated the scale of the engineering feat that was achieved. This dam in Brazil has not been without its controversy, drawing attention to the social and environmental impacts associated with large-scale dam projects. One of the main sources of the controversy surrounding the dam is the displacement of local communities. The construction of this dam led to the relocation of numerous communities, disrupting their livelihoods and their cultural heritage. This displacement raised concerns about the loss of ancestral lands, traditional practices, and community cohesion. The creation of the reservoir resulted in the flooding of large areas of land, leading to the loss of ecosystems and wildlife habitats. The alteration of river flows and water quality has affected aquatic biodiversity, and the accumulation of sediment behind the dam has further impacted downstream ecosystems. Number 13. The Grand Coulee Dam the Grand Coulee Dam, situated on the Columbia River in Washington State, ranks as the largest hydropower producer in the United States and the fifth largest dam in the world by capacity. Construction of the dam commenced in 1933 as part of the Columbia Basin Project initiated by the federal government to provide irrigation water and generate hydroelectric power for the region. The primary purpose of the Grand Coulee Dam was to support agricultural development and facilitate growth by harnessing the energy potential of the Columbia River. The dam was initially authorized by President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who played a significant role in promoting and supporting the project. As part of his New Deal initiatives during the Great Depression, President Roosevelt recognized the potential of large-scale infrastructure projects like this to stimulate the economy, create jobs, and provide long-term benefits to the region. So the question is, did it work? Well, the dam boasts an impressive capacity of 6,800 megawatts, making it a massive power generator. It features a powerhouse containing 33 turbine generators, and the dam's extensive power generation capability has been instrumental in supplying electricity to millions of people in the Pacific Northwest region. So, yeah, it did work. During its construction, an estimated 12 million cubic meters of concrete were used, making it one of the largest concrete structures in the world. The dam's massive concrete gravity section contributes to its strength and stability, allowing it to withstand the immense pressure of the Columbia River. It's a structure as tough as FDR was. 
Number 12. Long Tan Dam The Long Tan Dam, located on the Hongshui River in Guangxi Province in China, ranks as the third largest dam in the world by capacity. Construction of the dam began in 2001 and was completed in 2009. It was built to address multiple objectives, including flood control, hydropower generation, and water supply for irrigation and industrial purposes. The Long Tan Dam has a total capacity of 22,500 megawatts, making it a significant power generator. Its powerhouse houses nine turbines, each capable of producing electricity. It plays a vital role in meeting the growing energy demands of southern China. To create the dam structure, approximately 11.8 million cubic meters of concrete were used. The Long Tan Dam provides electricity to millions of people in the Guangxi and Guangdong provinces, supporting industrial activities, residential areas, and economic development. Its hydropower generation capacity significantly contributes to China's renewable energy portfolio and helps reduce the country's reliance on fossil fuels. The decision to build this dam was made by the Chinese government, with the project approved and supervised by various leaders and officials. The construction behind the dam involved significant investment, too, with the total cost estimated at around $8.9 billion. That's a lot of money. Number 11. Sayano Shushenskaya Dam The Sayano Shushenskaya Dam, sitting snugly on the Yenisei River in Russia, is one of the largest hydroelectric power stations in the world. This Russian behemoth is the ninth largest dam by capacity. The construction of it began in 1968 as demand for electricity grew in the cold reaches of Siberia, and it was completed just 10 years later in 1978. Approximately 6.5 million cubic meters of concrete were used in the construction of this dam, and the building cost estimated to be around 5 billion US dollars. This dam has a capacity of 6,400 megawatts, making it a substantial power producer. It consists of 10 turbines, each capable of generating a substantial amount of electricity. Its immense power generation capacity has been vital in supplying electricity to numerous industrial facilities and residential areas and cities in Siberia. It's easy to think that Siberia is a desolate, ice-cold location devoid of human life, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. The decision to build this dam was made by Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev, the project was part of the Soviet Union's efforts to develop its hydroelectric power capabilities and harness the energy potential of its rivers. It also stems from a time when the Soviet Union was at odds with the United States, as both nations aimed to go bigger and better than the other, at everything. The Cold War was a very scary time for everyone involved, but it's difficult to deny the engineering feats that stemmed from this cold conflict. It's easy, though, to think that such a structure exists as just another boring landmark, but this dam still holds cultural significance. If you ever see it in person, then perhaps you'll come across it while making a purchase in the country. The dam was featured on a Russian banknote, highlighting its iconic status. However, it's important to note that the dam has also faced challenges and problems throughout its history. Number 10. Krasnoyarsk Dam all right, staying in Russia for a minute, the Krasnoyarsk Dam, located on the Yenisei River again, is obviously another one of the largest and most significant power stations in the world, coming in as the eighth largest dam in the world by capacity. Construction of this dam began in 1956, and it was completed in 1972, and was yet another power project to bring electricity into Siberia as industry rapidly expanded in that area. This dam has a massive capacity of 6,000 megawatts, making it a substantial power producer, consisting of 12 turbines. It took about 5.7 million cubic meters of concrete to build this big boy, making it an unshakable monument of engineering. It cost the former Soviet Union about 1.5 billion US dollars to construct this dam. However, like any complex infrastructure project, the Krasnoyarsk Dam has faced its share of challenges. One of the notable issues is the impact on the local ecosystem. The construction of the dam and the subsequent creation of the reservoir have significantly altered the natural flow of the river, affecting fish populations and other aquatic organisms. This has repercussions for both commercial and recreational fishing in the area. The reservoir formed by the dam also results in the inundation of large areas of land, leading to the loss of terrestrial habitats and the displacement of wildlife. As one would expect, the dam's operation and maintenance require ongoing attention and investment to ensure its continued reliability and safety. Aging infrastructure, sediment accumulation, and environmental concerns are among the ongoing challenges that require monitoring and mitigation efforts. So while it may have cost over a billion dollars to build, millions of dollars are poured into maintaining the dam each year. Number 9. Robert Barossa Dam 
The Robert Barassa Dam, formerly known as La Grande II, is a monumental hydroelectric dam located on the La Grande River in Quebec, Canada. Construction of the dam began in 1974, and it was completed in 1981. It was built as part of the James Bay Project, a comprehensive development initiative looking to harness the potential of Mother Nature's residency in northern Quebec. This dam has an impressive capacity of 16,000 megawatts, making it one of the largest power producers in the region. It houses 16 turbines, each capable of generating a substantial amount of electricity. This enormous power generation capacity has been pivotal in meeting Quebec's energy demands and supporting industrial activities, residential areas, and economic development in the region. Approximately 8.4 million cubic meters of concrete went into the dam's construction, letting it withstand the power of the rushing waters of the La Grande River. But the dam provides power to millions of people in Quebec, and without it, it would make life very difficult for many Canadians. Manufacturing, mining, commercial sectors, homes, hospitals, schools, and other essential infrastructure all rely on hydroelectric power day in and day out. The Robert Barassa Dam is a cornerstone of Quebec's energy portfolio, and it contributes significantly to the province's renewable energy goals. The decision to build it was made by the Quebec government, under the leadership of Premier Robert Barassa. The project was driven by the desire to tap into the vast hydroelectric potential of northern Quebec and reduce reliance on fossil fuels to make for a greener future. But green energy requires a lot of green, too, in the form of cold hard cash. The construction of the dam came at a significant cost, with the estimated price tag reaching approximately 13.7 billion Canadian dollars. But this dam employs thousands of workers, engineers, and technicians, and it pumps not just electricity, but money back into the Canadian economy. Number 8. The Bratsk Dam All right, we're going back to Siberia for this entry in our list. The Bratsk Dam, located on the Angara River in Russia, is an impressive hydroelectric power station known for its size and capacity. Standing at a height of 410 feet and spanning a length of 14,000 feet, the Bratsk Dam ranks as the 11th largest dam in the world and is a significant engineering achievement. Construction began in 1954 and was completed by 1964. It was built as part of the Bratsk Hydroelectric Power Station project, which aimed to harness the power of the Angara River and support the rapid industrialization and electrification efforts in the Soviet Union. The power generated here at this dam is crucial for supplying energy to various industries, cities, and towns in Siberia. It greatly contributes to the economic development and improve the quality of life in the region. Without the Bratsk Dam, life would be much, much harder. During the construction of this dam, a whopping 4.5 million cubic meters of concrete were used to build the spillways and to regulate water flow and ensure stability in the face of the powerful river. The Bratsk Dam plays a vital role in supporting various industries like aluminum smelting, forestry, and mining, which rely heavily on the abundant and affordable electricity it generates. And without the Bratsk Dam, many of these mining operations would not be possible. The dam's power supply also benefits residential areas, providing electricity for homes, schools, and hospitals, and other essential infrastructure. But nothing is perfect, and the construction of the dam and the creation of the reservoir have altered the natural flow of the river, leading to changes in water levels, sedimentation patterns, and fish habitats. Mitigation efforts have been undertaken, like the construction of fish ladders and environmental monitoring programs, to minimize these impacts, but certain things will just never be the same. Moving on to number seven. Tarbela Dam The Tarbela Dam, right on the Indus River in Pakistan, is one of the largest earth-filled dams in the world. It's 486 feet high and spans an insane length of 9,000 feet. The dam ranks as the second largest by installed power capacity and is an impressive engineering feat to say the least. Construction started in 1968 and it was completed by 1976. It was built to harness the potential of the Indus River and cater to the growing water and electricity needs of Pakistan. The dam serves multiple purposes, including irrigation, flood control, and power generation, of course. The Tarbella Dam has a massive capacity of 4,800 megawatts and features 14 generating units, each with a capacity ranging from 175 to 487 megawatts. The power generated here plays a critical role in vital industries of Pakistan, like agriculture, manufacturing, and residential consumption. The dam is classified as an earth-filled dam constructed by compacting and layering earth and rocks to create a stable structure. It consists of a central clay core, rock-filled dam with concrete spillways and powerhouses. The construction of the dam required a substantial amount of concrete. Approximately 12 million cubic meters were used to build the dam and associated structures, demonstrating the magnitude of the construction effort. One of the notable achievements of this Tarbela Dam is its contribution to agriculture through irrigation. 
The stored water is released downstream to support irrigation networks, enabling farmers to cultivate fertile lands and increase agricultural productivity. It was financed through international assistance, with financial contributions from organizations such as the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank. The project aimed to alleviate water shortages, mitigate the risk of floods, and provide reliable electricity to support Pakistan's socioeconomic development. The total cost of this dam project was around $1.5 billion. It involved significant investments in engineering, construction, and infrastructure development to bring the project to fruition. Number 6. Kariba Dam The Kariba Dam, situated on the Zambezi River along the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe, is a big one. It's got a total length of 1,900 feet, it's 420 feet tall, and has a base width of 75 feet. It ranks as one of the largest by installed capacity and is one of the most significant power generation projects the world has ever seen. Construction of this dam began in 1955 and it was completed in 1959. It harnessed the power of the Zambezi River and provides electricity to the industrial and domestic needs of both Zambia and Zimbabwe. It serves multiple purposes, including power generation, flood control, and irrigation. The dam has a total capacity of 1,620 megawatts and consists of six generating units, each with a capacity of about 162 megawatts. The dam is classified as a double curvature arch dam, featuring a curved shape to enhance its strength and stability. It's constructed using concrete and faced with rock fill on the upstream side to withstand the water pressure. The dam has facilitated economic development, improved access to electricity, and enhanced the quality of life for people in both Zambia and Zimbabwe. But how does a once-developing country get the money for this type of project? The financing for this dam project came from various sources. The World Bank, the British government, and the governments of Zambia and Zimbabwe all provided financial assistance to fund the construction and development of the dam. The decision to build the Kariba Dam was made by the colonial governments of Northern Rhodesia, which is now Zambia, and Southern Rhodesia, which is now Zimbabwe during the 1950s. The total cost of the project amounted to over $126 million at the time of construction. Number 5. Aswan High Dam The Aswan High Dam, situated on the iconic Nile River in Egypt, is a monumental structure and one of the largest dams in the world. It's got a length of over 12,500 feet and a height of 364 feet. This dam ranks among the largest by installed capacity and is a crucial infrastructure project for Egypt. Construction of the dam began in 1960 and it was completed in 1970. It was built with the purpose of controlling the flow of the Nile River, regulating floods, providing irrigation water, and of course, generating hydroelectric power. It serves as a significant contributor to Egypt's economic and agricultural development, thrusting the country forward economically. The dam has a capacity of 11,000 megawatts and consists of 12 turbines. The dam is classified as a gravity dam, constructed using concrete and stone materials to withstand the immense pressure of the Nile River. One of the notable achievements of this dam is its significant contribution to Egypt's agriculture through irrigation. The dam provides a reliable water supply through irrigation networks, enabling farmers to cultivate arid lands and increase agricultural productivity in a way they never could before. It's played a crucial role in transforming Egypt into a major food-producing country. Crops cultivated here include wheat, corn, rice, and various fruits and vegetables. The country is also known for its production of high-quality cotton. The decision to build the Aswan High Dam was made by Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Nasser. The total cost of the dam project amounted to approximately $1 billion at the time of construction. Financing for the dam came from various sources too, including the Egyptian government, international loans, and the revenues generated from the Suez Canal. Approximately 43 million cubic meters of concrete were used in the construction of this dam, making it one of the largest concrete structures on Earth. Number 4. The Ataturk Dam all right, it's Turkey time. The Ataturk Dam, located on the Euphrates River in southeastern Turkey, has a rich history that's intertwined with the region's development and water management. The region's historically known as Mesopotamia. It's considered the cradle of civilization, with ancient civilizations such as the Sumerians and Assyrians flourishing along the fertile banks of the Euphrates. The idea of constructing a dam on the Euphrates River in Turkey emerged in the mid-20th century as a means to control water flow, provide irrigation for agriculture, generate hydroelectric power, and mitigate flooding in the region. The project was initiated in the 1950s under the leadership of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the founder of modern Turkey. 
The construction of the dam started in 1983 and was completed by 1992. It's a massive concrete gravity dam, coming in at 554 feet tall and spanning a length of over 6,000 feet. The dam ranks among the largest in the world in terms of installed capacity and is a prominent symbol of Turkey's hydroelectric generation. Its power generation has also played a crucial role in reducing Turkey's reliance on fossil fuels and meeting its energy needs. It's got an installed capacity of 2400 megawatts and consists of eight turbines. Its power plant is equipped with modern generators that convert the potential energy of the water into electricity, with the dam itself directly contributing to Turkey's agricultural output. It serves as an essential water resource for agricultural activities in the region, benefiting farmers and contributing to Turkey's food production. It also provides water for domestic use and industrial purposes, supporting various industries and economic development in the areas. Approximately 27 million cubic meters of concrete were used in the construction of this dam, making it yet another of the largest concrete structures on Earth. The construction of this dam and subsequent formation of the reservoir had an impact on the local ecosystem. The dam created a vast reservoir that submerged large areas of land, resulting in the loss of natural habitats and the displacement of local communities. Efforts have been made to mitigate the environmental impacts, though, the establishment of protected areas and conservation projects. So hopefully one day the dam can coexist with the natural surroundings. Number 3. Shilaudu Dam The Jinsha River region is known for its stunning landscapes, deep valleys, and diverse ethnic groups, including the Yi, the Bai, and the Tibetan communities. The area is renowned for its natural beauty and serves as a gateway to the picturesque Three Parallel Rivers UNESCO World Heritage Site. But it's also home to the Shilodu Dam. It sits right on the Jinsha River in southwestern China and is one of the largest of its kind in the world. The history of this dam begins in the late 20th century, when China recognized the need for harnessing the energy potential of this river. Construction of it began in 2003 and was completed just 10 years later in 2013. It's an arch dam standing at an impressive height of 935 feet and stretching over an incredible length of 2,200 feet. Construction was overseen by the Chinese government, with the goal of addressing the growing energy demands of the country and reducing its dependence on fossil fuels. The dam was part of the larger Jinsha River Cascade Hydro Power Project, which includes a series of dams constructed along the river. The total cost of this dam project was around 27.2 billion US dollars. It was financed by the Chinese government and its development agencies, with a focus on keeping things in-house and utilizing the country's own resources and expertise. This dam is ranked among the largest hydroelectric power stations in the world and has an installed capacity of over 13,800 megawatts generated by its 18 turbines, each with a capacity of over 770 megawatts. It's equipped with advanced generators that convert this energy of the flowing water into electrical power, which it then sends to tens of millions of homes. Seeing as how it's one of the largest dams in the world, the construction of it required a massive amount of concrete, with an estimated volume of 12.8 million cubic meters. However, the construction of the dam has also raised concerns about its impact on the local ecosystem. The reservoir created by the dam has led to the submergence of large areas of land, resulting in the loss of natural habitats and displacement of communities. So while the dam definitely represents China's commitment to sustainable development and reducing its carbon footprint, the environmental concerns associated with the operation can't really be ignored. Number 2. Itaipu Dam The Itaipu Dam, located on the Parana River between Brazil and Paraguay, has an awesome history intertwined with the development of the region. You can't talk about one without bringing up the other, it's just impossible. The area surrounding the dam was once inhabited by indigenous communities and later became a site of exploration during the colonization period. This created plenty of controversies and problems, but today the region is known for its abundant natural beauty and diverse ecosystems, including the lush rainforests of the surrounding areas. The history of this dam starts in the 1960s along the Parana River, but the construction of the dam didn't happen until 1975. It would take nine years to complete and stood high above the canopy in 1984. Itaipu is an impressive example of an arch gravity dam standing at a height of 643 feet and stretching over 26,000 feet in length. The decision to build the Itaipu Dam was made under the leadership of Brazilian President Emilio Garatazu Medici and Paraguayan President Alfredo Stroessner. The dam was a joint project between the two countries, with both Brazil and Paraguay sharing costs and benefits of its construction. The total cost was approximately $19.6 billion, with the financial burden being shared equally between Brazil and Paraguay. It ranks among the largest hydroelectric power plants in the world. It's got a total installed capacity of over 14,000 megawatts and produces an average annual energy output of around 90,000 gigawatt hours. 
The power plant associated with this dam is equipped with 20 turbine generators. The dam's immense concrete structure required around 12.3 million cubic meters of concrete during its construction. The reservoir created by the dam, known as Itaipu Lake, spans an area of about 520 square miles and is larger than the city of Tokyo. The dam is so big that it's become a habitat for various wildlife species, including more than 200 bird species and rare fish, found only in the region, and generates so much power that it could supply the electricity needs of the entire planet for two days. Despite its many achievements, though, this dam also faces challenges and, of course, controversies. The dam's construction resulted in the displacement of local communities and the flooding of vast areas, impacting the natural environment and disrupting ecosystems. Efforts have been made to mitigate those effects, though, through environmental management programs and measures to preserve and restore the affected areas. But for many, the damage is done already, and there are just some things that can't be undone. Number 1. The Three Gorges Dam the history of the Three Gorges Dam, the largest hydroelectric dam the world has ever seen, is a story that spans several decades. The idea for a dam on the Yangtze River in China can be traced back to the early 20th century. The vision for a dam gained momentum in the 1950s, when Chinese leader Mao Zedong expressed his support for such a project, not only as a means for generating electricity, but as a way to manage the flooding of the river as well. However, it wasn't until the 1980s that serious discussions and studies began, assessing the feasibility and potential impact of constructing a dam in the Three Gorges region. In 1992, the Chinese government officially approved the Three Gorges Dam project, and ground was broken in 1994. The building process was a massive undertaking, involving the relocation of over a million people, the flooding of numerous villages and archaeological sites, and the erection of one of the largest concrete structures in the world. The dam was constructed in three main stages. The first stage included building a coffer dam to redirect the Yangtze River's flow, allowing the construction of the main dam and power plant. The second stage focused on the construction of the main dam structure, while the third stage involved the installation of power generating equipment. The dam itself, along with its associated structures, required approximately 27.5 million cubic meters of concrete. To put that number into perspective, it's estimated that the amount of concrete used in the construction is enough to build a 13-foot-wide sidewalk that could wrap around the Earth's equator more than four times over. The colossal structure stretches approximately 7,600 feet in length and stands over 607 feet tall. Not only is it the largest hydroelectric dam in the world, but also holds the distinction of being the world's largest hydroelectric power station in terms of installed capacity. The dam has 34 generators capable of producing over 100 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually. The estimated cost of the project was around $28 billion, making it one of the most expensive engineering ventures in history. But the people and the environment of the Yangtze River paid an even higher price for the dam. This project led to the relocation of over a million people and the submergence of historical sites. The alteration of the river's flow has impacted the natural ecosystem, leading to habitat loss, decreased biodiversity, and changes in water quality. The dam's construction also has disrupted fish migration patterns, negatively affecting fish populations and impacting the livelihoods of local fishermen. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you to our channel members.